answer those. You answer them. I've been joined in the studio by my usual Lancaster professors and doctors. Uh, one of my favorite segments, as a matter of fact. In the studio, I have Professor Steve Bradley. Sounds like one of my PR lecturers in school. And uh, Dr. Shackleton is right here in the studio as well. It's a perfect day. Valentine's Day. I expected to see you guys in red. <laughs> How are you doing? We're doing well. Let's go to find out what exactly might be happening on the campus of Lancaster in Ghana. Not okay. the UK though. <laughs> no, not the UK. Okay, so, well, at the moment we've got around 125 students doing right. a foundation scheme in three streams. Uh, in October, we'll be setting off with our undergraduate programmes in business, psychology, economics, right. etc. And we're here to launch the MBA. So we attended a press conference last night to launch the Global MBA and Mark's the director of that program uh, and so it went very well. Wow, how did it go Dr Shackleton? Yeah, we had about 50 guests at the Holiday Inn last night and we had a fantastic reception and I was able to talk to a lot of people who are interested in pursuing career opportunities and career progression mm -hmm. by studying here in Ghana for an MBA under our Global MBA scheme. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, but how competitive is the market for these students you usually would bring out? You haven't done your first graduation yet, have you? No, the first. this is the first year, so the, the foundation year will prepare the students to enter our undergraduate programs. Right. Those programs will take three years for the students to complete and then we'll be looking at a graduation ceremony here in Accra. Right, beautiful. Um, Dr. Shackleton, let's get to find out from you, hypothetically though, how competitive are these certificates going to be on the job market, especially in Ghana? Well, we're trying our best to ensure that the provision of this MBA will be almost identical to that in Lancaster, and in right. fact we have other global locations in Jordan, Singapore and in Malaysia. Mm. We'll be bringing faculty initially from the UK in order to teach, and I'd personally be very happy to come back and uh, deliver, deliver a, a module because uh, this has been a fantastic opportunity for me to visit Ghana. So we're trying to level the playing field there and through Lancaster University in Ghana over a period of five to ten years we'd hope to be able to develop faculty here such that we can have a sustainable culture of delivery here in order to um, empower the local provision of um, MBA delivery too. Mm. We've often been told that knowledge in excess is no crime. We're actually supposed to seek knowledge, no matter the heights we're supposed to be going, even when we get to the zenith, even though there's no such thing as the uh, as knowledge acquisition at the zenith mm. ever on earth. Uh, the presence of Lancaster University right here in Ghana has uh, gone through so many phases with so many people thinking that there's a need to get back to school and you do not have to travel offshore to be able to enroll in various um, models you might want to have at Lancaster it's right here in Ghana, a British um, institution or university that is established over here as well. Let me get back to you, Prof, before we go. How has patronage been like? What do you mean by patronage? Patronage of the school, enrollment, uh, enrollment registration. Enrollment's been uh, quite good. We've been surprised at how many students we've managed to get on the foundation programs. Right. We're going into international schools, American mm. and British schools, to spread the word. And I think there's quite a lot of interest in joining the program direct from A-levels. So we're expecting that by October there should be upwards of about 150, 160 students. Which, when I compare it to other partnerships we have around the world, that's a very good start starting point. And so it should only get better. Each time we're supposed to be talking about this, it reminds me of my school. There's the perfect ambience in a perfect theatre where a lecturer is supposed to take it as practical as possible, whatever he might just be teaching. Is that experience over here as well for Ghanaian students? Absolutely. So uh, through the MBA material, we're looking at case studies and we're looking at practitioner-based material where people can bring their own work experiences, right. we'd say five, six years work experience, back into the classroom and we can use both theory and practice to discuss modern, good business solutions for today's problems. Right. It's interesting. The difference is that you have British education right here in Ghana, and the only difference is that you keep warm all through the seasons, no winter. Thank you very much once again for joining us. Thank you. Right. Prof. Bradley, um, and of course, Dr. Shackleton Thank from you. the Lancaster University right here in Ghana. Thank you. We'll be right back.